Okay, for this pick a card reading, um, I didn't take a video of the three files, so I'll insert a picture in here, but also if you want to see the picture um, and like spend more time looking at it, you can go on my Instagram, mystichealer1313, and click the photo with three piles, the one, two, three, and I'll see you in the video. Okay, so for the pick a card reading, if you picked stack number one or it was the Lemurian crystal or not, um, your two cards from the Work Your Light deck are the Awakening card and the Ace of Light. So basically, the messages I'm receiving from this card is that you're currently undergoing a spiritual awakening whether you're conscious of that or not, and you've gone through this before you've experienced a lot of these similar pathways in the past but I believe right now is your time to actually integrate them as the card says with the awakening <laughs> I just like I just feel like with the way that this is pointing upwards and how the girl here is floating up that you're you're journeying on this this path of light and this path of love um, and that you will find success in it even if there are struggles. From the Rider Waite Tarot deck, we have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, this signifies success. This signifies, with the Knight of Wands, it kind of, kind of shows that you may be stepping into the unknown or going on a journey in this, likely the spiritual journey. You may be called to like a specific spiritual place on earth. I know recently I've been called to um, Sedona and Mount Shasta. Um, and with the nine energy here, I'm feeling you're you're having a new beginning. You're, you're very starting over. Like with your awakening, it's kind of a new beginning, you could say. And then from the Goddess Terrace Tarot deck, we got five cards. So I'm just going to do them individually. Two of Swords. You're kind of making a deal. You see the people women watching over the two people shaking hands so this is kind of like agreeing to the spiritual journey that you're on right now the eight of chalices this is kind of venture into the unknown kind of leaving things behind so this is kind of leaving um old paradigms behind moving forward into this new journey so you may you may lose somebody um you may relocate um but it will take you into a better place with the knight of wands Okay, so you have the Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So what I'm receiving from this is that you are going to have to go through some hardships in order to um, completely follow through with this journey because with light there's darkness and you have to be able to go through that and integrate it. And from the Eight of Wands, I'm seeing just ground yourself. Make sure you take time to be in nature. Um, learn some grounding techniques, meditate, anything you can to kind of go within because you will be struggling of, on this journey. I can't sugarcoat it. Um, with the spiritual journey, there is struggle. That's I'll, There's meaning behind it. Um, but I'm, say, I'm hearing that to help the struggle ground yourself and grounding yourself in nature will be very helpful. And then we have the Three of Pentacles here. So... I'm kind of seeing that this is going to be, you're going to be filled with success in like every way, any form, it's going to come, you're going to get to a point where you have like more paychecks from like different like business type of things than you'll have bills. So you're definitely going to be abundant. So yeah, you're going to, you're going through this spiritual journey right now. Um, you may have struggles, you're going through the unknown. You did make this with the two of swords also, this kind of confirms to me that you, um, you decided this before you incarnated right now on earth you decided that you were going to go through the spiritual journey maybe in another life you you tried but you weren't as successful um and now you're trying again but you will be successful is what i'm getting from that so i hope that gave you some insight and like this video if it resonated and subscribe to my channel because i'll do be doing a whole bunch more thank you okay group number two um there was a selenite on top of this one. It's actually a really beautiful reading, to be honest. Um, so from the Work Your Light deck, the first card we got is Unbound. 
So this is really talking about releasing any soul patterns, contracts, past lives. You see how there's kind of ties and connections with, um, with time, as we know it now within the fourth, fifth dimension. We know that everything exists right now. Therefore, all these other lifetimes that you have had on Earth and beyond Earth are happening right now, but just in a different parallel reality. So if you're being hurt in another timeline right now, if you're following your ego, then that's affecting you in this timeline. So you're being very, very called to um, do some soul retrieval work, some shadow work, uh, to cut these cords so your soul can be full and present right now. The second card you got though was Dance with Life. So this is kind of talking about doing something to charge your energy. So with doing this and cutting all these cords, there's a lot of open energy. You don't want that to be cluttered with negative stuff or cluttered with third dimensional stuff. Find something that charges your energy because when you lose this, you have a lot of space and that can come in terms of um, more downloads, finding your passion, um, dancing, singing, anything that makes you feel more energetically full. And with this, with cutting the patterns, finding something to replace your energy, you will then birth a new age. Um, you're basically in the middle of dreaming this new beautiful earth into life and how you can get to that phase is by unbinding yourself to the timelines in which your preferred earth isn't the preferred earth if you understand what I'm saying. So for the Rider Waite Tarot deck we have the Fool. <laughs> this speaks to me that you're kind of you're walking on this journey and you don't really know where you're going um, but you're trusting it. You, you, you have this inner knowing, your intuition, you're following the sun, you're following the ways, you're following nature, you're following your spirit guides. You know that at the end of this there is positivity and love and light and you're being called to continue to do that. But do take caution. Um, just make sure you're not fooled by anything along this path. And I'm, I'm really hearing now, don't over identify with anything. So I know um, it's hard when you learn about a lot of new spiritual stuff because there's so many different names for like, for example, like star seeds, like you have Arcturians, Palladians, Andromedan, etc. But we all have to understand that they're actually just higher versions of ourselves and higher dimensions. But separation doesn't exist, therefore they are us, therefore everybody is us, therefore identification is separation. So we just keep that in mind. Now we have the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So these kind of both scream together uh, success, joy. Um, the Eight of Wands is talking about journey potentially by sea and the fact that we have water within the Fool card. Um, you may be called to visit somewhere where you have to fly across water or that's on the ocean to enhance your spirituality. I've been called on some journeys now um, and I feel like being called to different places is kind of your uh, higher self knowing that you've had past lives in a specific place. So if you're being called to go somewhere, especially if it's near water, go. <laughs> um, but with these cards, yeah, it's, it's saying that you're going to be successful. Um, just don't go too fast. With the eight, you need to kind of take it slowly but steady, you know? So that's it from the Rider weight deck. Then from the Goddess Tarot deck. Okay. So you have Judgment. This card is basically saying that, not that you're being judged, but you have to watch out for how things may appear, what illusions are showing up, because um, I guess the whole big, aspect of becoming spiritually awakened is seeing things for illusions so it's kind of letting you know watch out keep your eyes open uh, discern and dissociate from kind of anything that you don't think you should be associating with so then here we have the world card <laughs> so this is a very 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 positive card um what I'm getting from this is basically out of nothing became everything. So I feel like you, you may have started on a path where you, you were in lack. You didn't really know where you were going or who you were. You kind of just took this chance. You, you 
were somehow called to the spiritual journey and you were like, I don't know where this is going to go, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. And this is saying that you are going to be successful. You are going to have a lot of achievement from this. Um, you also have the moon card. So this kind of has to do with um, emotions and dreams and how light and darkness coexist with each other. And I think when you come back to the work your light tarot, that's what it's saying with there's the darkness of your shadow selves and the cords that you must cut. And then there's the light, which is the energy that goes into birthing the new age. And then lastly, you have here the nine of pentacles. Um, with the nine of pentacles, basically it's it's really saying that you've planted these seeds and they're now harvesting. You're going to notice that if you're thinking about doing a spiritual business or starting like tarot services, do it now. Start now. Um, build your clientele. Um, clear it's spirit. Blah, blah. Oh, sorry guys. Um, spirit is supporting you in this 100%. Go for it. These are new beginnings. You're fruitful. You're ba you're 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 abundant, and that's your true nature. And it's time to claim your true nature. So that's all I have for you, group number two. I hope that resonated with you. And if it did, feel free to like and subscribe because I'll be posting more. Bye. Okay, group number three. This was a big reading. Um, lots of cards came out. So. Let's get started with the Work Your Light deck. So the first card we have is Deep Replenishment, Rest, Be Still. Um, the next two cards I kind of feel like go along with this period of rest that you may be needing to go through because of all these current uh, energies that are happening right now. They're very, very strong uh, with the solstice, the, the new moon, uh, and then the, sol the solar and lunar eclipse coming up. Um, you're being called to retreat now. You don't need to work as hard as you may have been working or stress, stressing out in the same way. You're being very called to get grounded, connect with nature. You're very, very empathic. Um, and in this rest, you need to learn how to contain your energy so you don't give too much away. Because when you are empathic, we tend to give as much energy away as we can because we like helping people, but sometimes that leads us drained and needing to rest. Um, after that, we got the Align Your Life card. So what is not aligned or needs to change? So during this deep replenishment, um, meditate on what doesn't serve you anymore. Because as you're going through this uh, spiritual awakening, a lot of things are going to fall apart. And that's completely okay. Things are going to go away that no longer align with you. But trust me, things will come back plentiful. You will, once you take out the things that don't align, you will receive everything else that does align. <laughs> so after those cards, we got the pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So this just confirms to me that they are going through a spiritual awakening. And you're being asked right now to call in, in your soul family. You have connections on this earth right now. You do not have to go through this journey alone. I know that when you kind of first wake up to these truths, it's very isolating. You know, you... you you can't really talk about this stuff for many people because most people are like, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. But you're not crazy and you're not alone. You do not have to do this alone. So when you're manifesting, start manifesting in your soul family because they are here to help you. Also, when you manifest, try to connect into the Akashic Records. This has all of the wisdom that you would ever need to know and it's within you. you, you you're being guided completely completely and utterly guided you just have to venture there and ask ask whatever you want to know if you can see it shows ancient like the sphinx ancient waterfalls kind of coming up into like this new paradigm you can learn anything you want all of this knowledge is available to every single person on earth it's just a matter of tapping into that so with the rider weight tarot deck we have the ace of pentacles this just confirms to me that you will be successful. I feel like a lot of you guys are doubting if you're going to be successful, doubting if this spiritual journey is actually going to bring you anywhere or if it's just going to be a waste of time. It's not. Um, you're basically going to be given. With this spiritual awakening, you're kind of given this um, 
ability and nurturing aspect of yourself that you're going to want to help other people. And basically, they're just going to be hand sticking up from the sky to give you the resources that you need, basically, in your Akashic Records. The next card I got from the Rider Waite Tarot deck is the Tower. So things are breaking apart. Um, you're going from the old 3D paradigm to the next paradigm, 4 or 5D. Um, again, things are falling apart. Things are, the tower has to fall apart. The tower has to, has to crumble down in order for you to build it back up with truth. People are going to fall out of your life. Environments are going to fall out of your life. Things are going to fall out of your life. But the tower will rebuild. It's not going to be pushed down forever. You have the strength to rebuild it yourself. And then moving on to the Goddess Tarot deck, I feel like this card just connected with the tower. Of course, you got the card of death, and this doesn't mean physical death, you're not gonna die. Um, this kind of means a rebirth, renewal, and that happens once the tower falls. Um, you're going through a transformation right now. You're kind of, you're taking off the mask. You're saying, I do not wanna be this person anymore, and you're coming into your full full power. You see she's holding a very large gold cup wearing all this gold jewelry she she knows that she is abundant and that she is successful um, but in order to do this she has to kind of grieve you could say her old self we also have the high priestess here which is connected to mystic and occult knowledge um, if you're into anything occult like I would highly suggest right now to be looking that type of stuff up um, you have all the access to this knowledge. Again, with the Akashic Records card, this knowledge is here for you wherever you want. You are the High Priestess. You can access this. You can. So we have the Knight of Wands, or the Knave of Wands, and the Three of Wands. So with these two cards here, I'm getting this... I'm getting this vibe that it's, it's just going to be very peaceful. Like, you see how these three people are just kind of, like, sitting there in front of the fires. They're just, like, tending to their wands. They're connected with nature. They just, they look very, very, very happy. Um, I think the power, I think this is kind of saying that the power is now in your hands. You are creating your own life. You are creating your own future. So now it's time to do this. With this one, um, follow this magical path. Magic is real. If you hear anybody say that magic is not real, they're not open to the perception that it is real. Um, follow your intuition. Use your wand, use your guidance system because you have it. You guys are gonna be so successful. Um, we got a lot of pentacles energy here. We have the One of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Knave of Pentacles, and Knight of Pentacles. Um, with the One of Pentacles, you can see how it's kind of like, oops. She's holding this very, very big coin, but she's blind. She has a tie in front of her face, so she doesn't know how successful she's going to be, but she is going to be successful. She's already holding it, but she's not observant to the success that she's going to have already manifested it um the six of pentacles this is really showing you're gonna have so much so much success and abundance that you're going to be able to share it with other people and you're actually going to be able to make a big impact on the world if uh, charity work is something that you are interested in you are going to have enough money to be able to donate to a lot of charities um i'm feeling that you're a very 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 giving person and that's very much so gonna show um with your success you know that it's not just for you you know that other people need it too. And I think that's kind of beautiful. Okay. okay, with the Knight of Pentacles here, you are stable and secure. You have this money. You, you don't need anybody else to give you this money. If if you've ever been relying on like a parent or a grandparent or a boyfriend or girlfriend um, for money or stability, security, you don't need it. You literally have all the power in the world, um, and you're going to be okay. Like you're, I just, I'm 
having this big sense that you're very stressed out or anxious, not thinking that you're going to be successful, not thinking that you're going to be safe. You're not, you're not fully grounded yet into this new light body energy, but you're going to be, you, you really are. And here I'm feeling wisdom, patience. You see, she's, she's sitting on this chest of pentacles. She's, she has all of this abundance. Sometimes it just, it takes time. You see, she's sitting in the top of it, that tower. Well, the tower is falling down right now, so the tower has to build up again. But once the tower is built up again, you're going to be full of abundance. You're going to be so full. I love how like it's like the tower and the tower rebuilds again. That's actually really beautiful. Um, so that's all I have for you, group number three. I hope you resonated with some of this. And if you enjoyed that, please like this video and subscribe because I will be posting more in the future. Bye.